Nursing homes across the U.S. are asking for immunity from lawsuits amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tara Brantley. And I'm Dirk Rally. What does that mean for nursing homes in Indiana? 15 Finds Out investigator Angelica Robinson has the story. There's no question that nursing homes are a huge concern when it comes to the spread of the novel coronavirus. That's why many people are calling on local and state officials to report the number of confirmed cases at each facility. But there are nursing homes across the nation that are asking for state officials to grant immunity from lawsuits during this pandemic. It's important from a public health standpoint to know, you know, is there a specific nursing home that has 10% of their population affected? Do they have 90% of their population affected? Even general and non-identifiable health information, you wouldn't normally broadcast the incidence of someone's obtaining a disease to the entire facility. The inconsistency in reporting cases at nursing homes is troubling for some, and the lack of transparency has led families to seek legal action. And they've inquired about whether our office would be interested in investigating and prosecuting a COVID-19 case. David Farnbaugh is a medical malpractice attorney for Sweeney Law Firm. He says the refusal to provide the public with the number of deaths at nursing homes from COVID-19 and the location is outrageous. Because family members cannot visit loved ones during this time, they cannot assess what kind of care they are receiving. The family visiting, checking on the care, even the residents, that's not, that's not oversight that's happening right now. Nursing homes in several states have already asked governors to sign executive orders which would grant legal immunity during the COVID-19 pandemic. That includes Illinois and Michigan. Farnbaugh expects that will happen in Indiana, too. I think most states are going to enact legislation uh, giving uh, facilities, hospitals and nursing homes and other medical providers immunity for treatment related to COVID-19. At this point, the state has put out guidance, but no blanket waiver or immunity for long-term care facilities. During Governor Eric Holcomb's daily press briefing, we asked if the state would consider doing this. We have, uh, along the way with uh, CMS's guidance, changed how we work with them. And so although we still do our regulatory function, we use a lot of that workforce now more in partnership. And it's much more about going into facilities and helping them uh, to respond to outbreaks as they occur. Uh, but we have not removed uh, all liabilities from them. From them. Given the unique situation, experts say it would be difficult to make a medical malpractice claim out of a COVID-19 case. Providers are being asked to do things that are different than the law previously said. And there have been many waivers from existing laws that nursing facilities, hospitals, other providers are providing care underneath. Zach Cattell of the Indiana Healthcare Association says it's important to trust healthcare providers at this time. Trust in these nurses, trust in these healthcare professionals to do the right thing. Um, is paramount and we hope that individuals will give everybody that understanding of how much caring there is going on within our buildings.